smart from Tito Garcia. I'm going to bring a little comparison of two of our 2205 motors that we have. We've got on the right our Emax 2205, the red bottom. And on the left, our DYS Special Edition FPV 2205 2300 KV. Now they're both 2300 KV. One of the differences is that the Emax motor comes just one per order, one in a box, where as the DYS comes two motors in a box, one counter rotating, one regular rotating. Let's open this one up here. All right. So as you can see right off the bat, these motors, the DYS come with the long motor leads. If you need that. The DYS has a hollow shaft. The 2205 does not have a hollow shaft. You can see here that it's got some ridges or holes cut for some extra cooling, and these have them cut on the side. So it's kind of a wash that way. The 2205s have a little propeller or arrows right here to tell you which way to tighten your nut or the rotation of the motor so you tighten your nut the opposite way. Weight wise, they're the same. One of the big differences on both these motors is the bottom. The Emax motor, the red bottom, has got a C clip on there and a thrust washer. And there have been some reports of those coming off on some people. I've yet to lose one and I crash a lot. Uh, on, the e on the DYS motors here, you've got a screw. So this is a set screw that you need an Allen wrench for. And I believe it comes in here uh, in the box. So you can just undo that screw to replace uh, your shaft or your bell or whatever. There is a so that will make it a little bit easier and it's not going to come out. Both patterns the same, so they're going to work on the same motors. Uh, the wire winding, the wire winding on the DYS 2205s is different than the 2205 Emax motors. The main diff this is what we call a multi-strand wind, which means you take a couple wires and kind of bulk them together to wind them. And I believe this one, the DYS is a single strand wind, which means that they use just one wire on each stator. Whereas this, each wind actually is like three or four wires. So there are some benefits that I believe it's a little bit more efficient. Um, motor magnet wise, I uh, can't tell. The motors are the same size or different. They're supposed to be the same type of magnet. So, yeah, they're about the same size. Good motors all, all in all. Both come with uh, your lock nuts. You know, the e these come with your mounting bolts. The Emax motors also come with mounting bolts. So really the big difference is this hollow shaft making it easy to replace and the, the type of winds. Uh, I'm doing a build right now where I'm gonna put these motors on it. But all in all, they're same price. They're both really good motors. They're both putting out about 1,000 grams of thrust on the top end props on 4S. So whichever one you want, you can check them out at 2dogrc.com.